Movie clips have a lot of special properties. You can program them, you can use special tools like the bone tool with them, and you can also do something called filtering with them. I'm going to create a simple movie clip by using my paintbrush tool. I'll set my brush color to brown. And what I want to do is draw a very simple table. I'm going to use the largest brush size. I'm just going to draw a very, very simple table here in my image. I set this up to look like a three-dimensional room. I'm sort of drawing the brown table in here. It's nothing epic to write home over, but it's just a really basic table shape. I'll adjust the leg heights to make it look like it's standing in the corner here. And then I'm going to take the simple shape, I'm going to select all of it, and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to convert it into a symbol. I'm going to change it into a movie clip, which I will call MC Table. And now I can do special effects with it called filters. Under the property section, I'm going to add a filter. And here I want to add a drop shadow. Makes it look a little bit more 3D. I can change the color here if I want. Red. Okay, I want a little darker red so I can go into my color wheel and I can pick somewhere between red and black and hit OK. I can choose my change my angle so I can pick which way the light is flowing. And I can change my distance to make it look a little bit farther away from the table. I'm going to remove that because I want you to see one at a time. I can add a blur to my table. You can change the distance. I'm going to remove that again. I'm going to add a glow. I'm going to pick yellow for my glow. Again, I can change the distance here, make it look like it's lit from behind. And then they have a bevel tool. And again, you can pick the color, so my highlight color can be a little bit different shade of brown. Bring up the color wheel, take it lighter. That often looks better than pure white. Make the shadow a darker shade of brown. Again, I'm opening up the color wheel, this time taking it darker. And I can change the angle on that as well. And you can see that change. You can also use a gradient glow. Choosing gradients. A gradient bevel with gradients. And you can adjust the color. I'm going to remove all. If I want this to look 3D, I typically will use a drop shadow with a gradient bevel. And usually their presets are pretty good on this, but you can adjust these and change the colors if you wish. So instead of being black, again I'm opening the color wheel, I can go into a darker red, hit OK, and it looks a little bit more 3D. So this is a good way to use, another way to use movie clips is for filtering effects.